Welcome back to Condemned. Hey, uh, when this opened up, we were actually supposed to go through it, so let me kill this guy real quick. Wow, he can take a shotgun blast. I think you totally missed him. You think so? Uh, yeah, it looks like you may have grazed his knee by a half inch. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it, because this game's hit detection, not the greatest, as you can tell. No, it isn't. It really isn't. All right, so... I mean, Instead of going in there, we're going to hit the sewers here real quick. Ugh. Just because... Yeah, uh. this, you'd think this is a sewer level, but this is actually just a sewer segment, I guess. Because this actually loops around to one of the earlier rooms we were in, but there are collectibles down here. That's gray water. It's just <laughs> piss and shit. I'm just telling you. That quote will never go away. No, it won't. Every time you go into a goddamn sewer, I'm going to say it. It's going to be my little red flag for saying, Look, we're in another goddamn sewer! <laughs> oh, is that, yeah. an, is that an, an FBI guy, or is that just a guy wearing a... I don't know. I think he may but, have stolen the jacket. I mean, maybe he rummaged through my house while I wasn't there and stole it? I don't know. They're always watching the metal pieces. So, I want to say the AI is good because a lot of the enemies, their movements are unpredictable, just like actual meth addicts, because everybody knows what those look like. You live where we live, yeah. But I would say in the case of this, it's really annoying, because the time it takes you to actually raise your weapon to block, they can hit you before you even think to raise it. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your ladder. Is that why you, uh praise the AI before that happened? Hmm. Kinda. Because the AI can get... It, it can break really easily in this game, I've noticed. It's like, he's blocking! I better escape! Oh, how did I fail? Yeah, like last chapter's guy who knocked out his other dude. <laughs> uh, sometimes it can work in your advantage with this shitty AI, but a lot of the times it, it just doesn't work. Like, really, can't I slip the fire axe through a loop in my belt buckle or something? <laughs> I wish we could! It would make all this backtracking a lot less monotonous. Jeez. So, anyway, back where we were at the beginning of this little, like, piss and shit water. Like, uh, when you backtrack... Yeah. Do you get attacked? Sometimes, yes. Like, if you manage to go a full round and take out all the dudes, sometimes there'll be that one guy where you can't find him, but most of the time, you kill them all, you're good. I mean, like, when you're just going through a level trying to get one weapon and then go to another, will you get attacked by more dudes? Mm, sometimes. Meaning that if you stand around, you could get attacked by an infinite number of dudes? Not infinite. They, they actually do have a, a cap on how many guys are going to come after you. Uh, all right. What the hell was uh. that? It's like a creepy crawly dude. I'm scared. I am genuinely terrified, Niskel. Mm -hmm. Get the face cams ready. We're going to need them for Condemned Criminal Origins, 2005's most exciting horror game. All right. I'm going to go take a video now, I guess. <laughs> Look at me in the face cam. Woo! Oh, here we go. Now that we found the elevator, we've turned on the power. Here's the real reason I wanted the fire axe. Not because of level progression, but no! The Xbox 360 of the level! <laughs> there we go. Unlock achievement. Ooh. Yeah, I remember when you had to you had to backtrack so hard and do so much in order to get an Xbox 360. Ripple TV Xbox 360? Yes. Didn't you see it ripple? Like, sure. It, it was rippling all up and down. It was showing gameplay of Condemned. It was showing monsters we haven't seen yet. Wasn't very, uh... Yeah. I didn't, didn't notice it too well. It was, it was very subtle. It's alright. You're, you're gonna see some other monsters. You're gonna get that subtlety in droves, man, because this is a scary game. Is it now? Actually, there is one level. One level that I would say is, like, masterful at horror and what it wants to do. It's awesome. But that doesn't come till a lot later, so right now we'll just keep making fun of it. Hey, look! A dead bird! That bird's not dead, though! Nope, still put it in my pants.
Oh, things are getting spooky scary. I better turn on the face cam now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hallway. There is stuff all over the place. By the way, look how many desks and filing cabinets are around this place. Oh, wow. So scary, right? Gotta open up a door. Let's... Somebody moved. Oh, this, this guy knocked this thing over. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, is there anything in here? Yes, there is. Health kit. Mm. Oh, and hey, we need a crowbar to open that up. I bet you it has a shotgun with two bullets in it. So we're just swapping between fire axes and crowbars. This isn't mm -hmm. scary. This is why I don't do face cam. I'm not. It's not scary. I don't get scared. <laughs> oh God! In I'm the back stop of the this neck. Then. Oh, you want to know what's bullshit? If an enemy has a oh, firearm... Doc. Doc. Oh, whoa. Uh, for, first of all, enemies are twice as deadly when they have a firearm, but the worst part of it is, they have infinite ammo. Oh, that's bullshit. Like, this guy who has the shotgun that's shooting me right now, he will never run out of bullets. Oops, I missed. Well, we gotta see if we can't take him out. Hey. Well, the thing is, after you do your third ounce of meth in a week, uh, you get your sharpshooter's license. Oh. Didn't you know that? That's why so many people do it! Oh, I know that now. Meth is the American drug! Oh, America! Oh, ow, America! America! <laughs> Alright. Well, that was fair. Let's go ahead and uh, skip ahead here. So the shotgun... What the hell? Back off. What? Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, oh, hey, look, it's the crowbar. Hey, there it is. Maybe we can finally get that shotgun with two shots. Ow! He didn't even swing, and then he still hit you. How does that work? <laughs> God, I love this battle system. It's great. Oh my God, I hate it. I'm glad I'm not playing it. It's so good, man. Why don't you want to play Condemned? Because it only has 950 achievement points. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what? Oh no, it's a 45 caliber. Oh, this might do. How many bullets? Oh, four. Four. <laughs> Great. Well, Are at least there we difficulty could... levels. Uh, no, it's just oh, what you get is what you get. Yeah. Uh, let's let's take out the shotgun guy. Maybe we can do it with our 45 caliber with four bullets. No. Well, well just kick him. He dropped his shotgun. That's good. What? No. Just... Uh, well, we kicked him dead. That, that's cool. And you're out of bullets! Alright! And... I really wish we could throw. I think that's something that was added to Condemn 2, the fact that you could throw your weapons. That would be so helpful in this game. Let's see, how many bullets? That's not infinite, that's just five! five. Oh, that's the most we've seen thus far, but it's not infinite. Oh, I love uh, those old uh, 2005 graphics where there'd be blood spatter on the corner of a wall and it would just overhang a little bit. <laughs> Oh, a so, sledgehammer needed to open that thing up. Okay. Bang! <laughs> yes, exactly! Why do we need a sledgehammer to open up? Just shoot it! If I sacrifice a bullet for backtracking, that should be an even fair trade. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, look, another dead bird in the toilet. <laughs> That's great. But hey, the women's restroom has something better in there. So we found a dead bird in the men's room. Let's actually check out the women's room. It's abandoned, so it's okay. Uh, let's there's see. Always, there's always something in the women's oh, restroom. Oh, oh, a sledgehammer! <laughs> there's always something in the women's restroom. It's a sledgehammer in the women's room. Awesome. There's never not something in the women's restroom. Exactly. So now we can uh, go back and open up that health kit. Let's see if there's something else other than health in here. Let's see, is there a shotgun? No, health kits. Those look like health kit looking shotguns, all right. <laughs> Bang! No, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I shot gauze at you. What do you think of that? That's what kills them. One hit. Oh, hey, look. More fluid. <laughs> no. Fluid. Mm, fluid. Uh, foreign matter. Uh. <laughs> oh, it shows up in a green light. Oh. Oh. oh, shit, he saw me. Hey, uh, that guy, he, he was right here, wasn't he? Oh my god, he jumped the ledge. And I think he clipped through the floor. He did, he, he actually clipped through the siding there. Not as Man. scary. I gotta do math. 
If I can start doing shit like that. Phase through walls, get infinite ammo. Dude, meth is great. Clipping through the floor doesn't make sense, but on meth it does. <laughs> okay, so I love this. That was an example of Ethan's just instinct. This is all instinct. His flashbacks, those are all instinct. Now, take a look at this. You see this door frame with his filing cabinet in front of it? Looks like it was moved. Mm-hmm. Did we really need this equipment to figure that out? I don't know how it shows up in a green light. Indentations of a regular pattern incised on the surface. You'd be able to see that then! You'd see the grooves! You'd see where it was slid back and forth so many times! I'll just push it out of the way, yeah, no big deal. Kick it. <laughs> I would love to. If I could kick every object and it would react, that would be the best game. I would kick Ethan. <laughs> kick myself in the face. Oh! Oh, so here's a big reveal. Oh, uh, by the way, I checked, there's no mods for this game. Damn it! None. Zero. At least there's not been a yet. There's been a mod page up since 2005, and nothing. Mm, that sucks. Nada. Well, maybe one of these days. Maybe somebody will make a Luigi's Mansion mod now that it's been mentioned. But, hey, this is a big reveal right here. The serial killer was taking pictures of us from across the way. Because that's our apartment across the street. This print's better. It's a match to the one you found before. But I got nothing on file. Local police, FBI, NSA, Patriot Database, Interpol... Gotta love when they uh, keep listing off all those initials and uh, anagrams and all that. And I have no idea what, like, half of them are. It's like, this guy is on every wanted list and every known uh, organization in the government. F FBI, CIA, NSA, DEA, CDC, FDA. AMA, uh, TFL, FML, FML LOL, <laughs> WTF, BBQ. Processing image. Interesting. Initial scan indicates 18 newspaper clippings. 11 from our own evening edition, 7 from nearby. Oh, she can count. Good for her. Serial killers. Now, I do kind of like this plot point. Because, from the looks of it, Ethan doesn't know what he's looking at, and he's having a woman tell him what it's like. <laughs> exactly. He has to call his CIA mom to try to bail him out. CIA! <laughs> but, uh, no, he, he's actually found that this serial killer has not only been tracking serial killers, but tracking us. We must oh! be a serial killer. Ow. I'd, belie I'd believe it. We've killed a lot of people so far. Here's another one. <laughs> Without mercy, too. So, so, you see all those extra pictures that have shown up right now? That's Those were there when the serial killer was there, so this is all instinct right now. What? Uh, oh. Oh, God. Blackout. Pork. Uh. Oh, shit! He's awake! Ethan Thomas, the killer of killers! Get back here! Oh, shit. Okay. Through, th through the window slowly. And I'm gonna laugh really hard if uh, the killer in this turns out to be... <laughs> I understood that reference. From Life is Strange if you didn't. Exactly. Wait, is that a spoiler? Should I bleep that out? Uh, yeah, Yes, it is a spoiler. The fact that she takes pictures... Oh, well, yeah, I'll leave it out. Oh, hey, look, a bird. We did it. Oh, there goes our serial killer. And jump over it. Oh, oh well, I mean, we don't want to break our legs. Come on. No, we got to go down these stairs into another goddamn encounter. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Hello. look, a dude. How would you call encounter. that? Have you played oh. this game before? Do you know? It's just, it's just instinct. Ethan has them, and so do I. Oh, my God, you are Ethan Thomas. Well, we got another filter going on right here. I wonder if something spooky's about to happen. Oh, wait. It is. How did oh you call that? Oh, my God. Oh, look at all the dead birds. We're going to get this achievement really fast. Holy shit. Give me that gold bird achievement award. 
Oh, they were all smoke. Oh. Well, no, well, that doesn't help. Oh, and I love this next prompt we're about to get. Pass through the door to complete chapter. I don't know what to do. And there we go. <laughs> six out of six birds found, three out of three metal pieces. Doing pretty good. You killed 22 people. <laughs> 22 people. Well, if that isn't the sign That's of a deranged person. That's how many you've killed. They're dead. You beat the mercy. 22 people. And they're trying to get you for just killing two officers? No, you've killed more people in that first chat. You've killed over 40 people in this fucking series. And it's only episode three. And we're the good guy. And we're, we're the good guys. How do you figure that out? Like, the only reason that serial killer was running from us is because he knew he knows who the real suspect is. Yeah, no wonder why he's following us, because he kills serial killers. Well, we're fucking serial killers. We are a danger to society. We're a lawful or a lawful evil one who cleans up the town with their drug addicts, but <laughs> we're, we're we're not good. We are not good in this. <laughs> oh, your genuine concern is actually very funny to me. <laughs> so see you next time on Condemned, where we'll kill more fucking people. <laughs> hey, they deserve it. They're meth heads. You know who says that? A meth head. <laughs> Everybody needs to die!